Hello everyone, once again welcome to PM Networking. Guys, today in this video we are going to discuss next hop rule in EIGRP. Next hop self rule in EIGRP. Okay, so suppose we have topology like this. Guys, as you can see, this is a multi access segment network, right? Network type is multi access segment. Fine, so if I will configure EIGRP on R1, on R2, on R3 how many neighbor will be there of R1 two neighbor two neighbor R2 and R3 how many neighbor of R2 two neighbor R3 and R1 how many neighbor of R3 two neighbor R1 and R2 so this is full mesh topology full mesh topology right so I want to create hub and a spoke topology suppose we have a network of bank suppose HDFC bank HD FC bank so suppose this is headquarter router okay this is a spoke branch this is a spoke branch and between connect connectivity for the connectivity we need connectivity from ISP so these all two router are connected through ISP now if I will configure EAGRP over here EAGRP over here EAGRP over here right how many neighbor will be there of R2 two neighbor R1 and R3 so this is full mesh topology I want to create I want to create hub and a spoke topology right R3 will never form neighborship between R2 will never form neighborship between R2 and R3 right do not form neighborship to R3 actually a spoke to a spoke neighborship will not form right neighborship will form with a spoke to hub main branch to a spoke branch main branch to a spoke branch actually this is main branch router so we call this router as hub router and this is branch router so we call this router as a spoke router a spoke router means branch router okay so i want to form neighborship between a spoke to hub a spoke to hub only right a spoke to hub and a spoke to hub only so what we need to do we need to configure configure a static neighborship let me talk about neighborship guys there are two types of neighborship in EIGRP neighborship types of neighborship in EIGRP right first one is a static and second one is dynamic right dynamic so if i will not configure a static then dynamically never see bill for right so let me show you how to configure how to configure a static never see first okay so first of all let me show you ip configuration so ip interface brief exclude unassign you can see on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 i am running network 192.168.10.0 right ip address is 10.1 and i i have create one loop back that is 1.1.1.1 now guys let me configure eigrp so first of all let me know you ip configuration so here i am running ip 192.168.10.1 okay and here i am running 192.168.10.2 and here I am running 10.3 here I am running 10.3 okay okay and we have one loop back on R1 that is 1.1.1.1 on R2 2.2.2.2 on R3 3.3.3.3 now let me configure EIGRP on R1 first so go to configure terminal mode router eigrp autonomous system 100 right up to that network 0.0.0.0 let me advertise uh, all active uh, interface in eigrp up to that neighbor a static neighbor right who is neighbor of r1 192.168.10.2 right so this neighbor is connected on which interface on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 right after that there is one more neighbor whose IP address is 192.168.10.3 and same neighbor is connected on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 right now let me configure EIGRP on 
R2 on R2 so router EIGRP 100 okay, 100 and network network is 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 and never is 192.168.10.1 on fast ethernet to 0 slash 0 right so guys now r1 r1 will send hello to r2 that hello message will be unicast right that hello message will be unicast in the same way r2 will send hello to r1 unicast that hello will be unicast right if you will for dynamically neighborship then definitely hello message will share on multicast address right but keep in mind if you are configuring a static neighborship hello message will send on unicast address okay now let me configure eigrp on r3 so go to r3 router eigrp 100 network 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 and never is 192.168.10.1255 oh, sorry on which interface on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 exit so ip eigrp neighbor how many neighbor of r3 there is only one neighbor right go to r1 let me show you how many neighbor of r1 two neighbor right so ip eigrp neighbor so you can see there is two neighbor right 10.3 or and 10.2 okay go to r2 so ip eigrp neighbor so how many neighbor are there only one neighbor now you can see there is no neighborship between a spock to a spock there is no neighborship between branch to branch right now all the traffic will go go via headquarter go via headquarter right all the prefixes all the lan interface traffic right each and every traffic will will reach to r3 from r2 via r1 via r1 let me show you the routing table of sorry r3 okay no problem so ip root eigrp guys you can see there is 1.1.1 .1 but there is no 2.2.2.2 here i am running one loop back as well that is 2.2.2.2 here i am running one loop back that is 3.3.3.3 here Three dot three dot three dot three, and here I am running one loop back that is one dot one dot one dot one, one dot one dot one dot one. But R in R3 routing table, there is only one dot one dot one dot one. Why not there is two dot two dot two dot two? Let me show you the routing table of R1 first. So IP root EIGRP, so IP root EIGRP. You can see there is 2.2.2 and 3.3.3 fine but in r3 routing table there is there is no 2.2.2.2 why because understand with the help of update message r2 will share this prefix with r1 with r1 on which interface on this interface right and by default a split horizon is enabled on this interface right so r1 will never forward this prefix from this interface from this interface so how r3 will receive this prefix right so because of a split horizon communication will not happen between a spock to a spock between a spock to a spock let me show you ping 2.2.2.2 ping 2.2.2.2 right so ping will not done right it's not pinging fine now let me disable a split horizon over here let me disable a split horizon over here then you will see there will be 2.2.2 .2 in the routing table as well right let me disable a split horizon first so configure terminal interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 no ip split horizon eigrp 100 okay now guys go to r3 and so ip 
root EIGRP. Now there is 2.2.2.2, right? Now there is 2.2.2.2. Let me ping 2.2.2.2, 2.2.2.2. Yes, I am able to ping now. Yes, let me trace root it. Trace root 2.2.2.2. Guys, my traffic will forward via R1, right? So every time every time when this this LAN user suppose there is one LAN network and here is one more LAN network okay so whenever this user try to ping this user or try to send any traffic from this user to this user traffic will move, go via R1 traffic will go via headquarter head branch hub router via hub router right so what I want I want that my traffic will go via switch my traffic will go via switch right otherwise there will be there will be chance of there will be chance of maybe this order will hang right because every traffic will if every traffic every spot branch traffic will go via main branch right via headquarter router then definitely the CPU utilization of of head headquarter router will increased right will increase so so let me show you over here so ip root eigrp so ip root eigrp so there is 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1 ad value is 90 and matrix is this one via 192.168.10.1 now the concept is come next hop rule next hop rule okay so actually what is happening when when i will when i, uh, I will configure eigrp on this order and i will advertise this prefix in eigrp at this order bill share this prefix 2.2.2.2 via update message to their neighbor to r1 now r1 by default by default next hop command is enabled on every interface by default by default next hop self command is enabled on all interface right so so whenever this router will share this prefix this order will modify next hop this order will modify next hop next hop will be and now next hop when r2 will send share this prefix to r1 what will be the next hop next hop will be 192.168.10.2 this ip address when r1 will send this prefix to r3 what will be the next hop 192.168.10.1 right so r1 is r1 is modifying next hop address right now i have to tell to r1 that whenever you will share this prefix to r3 do not do not modify next hop address do not modify next hop address let me show you how go to r1 go to r1 ip next hop self right eigrp 100 by default this command is configured on every interface let me type no let me type no over here fine now neighborship is done and again neighborship will be up okay now you can see the routing table of r3 now you can see my traffic is directly forward via switch so ip root eigrp now next hop next hop for this network is 192.168.10.2 now next hop is 10.2 now r1 is not modifying next hop now r1 is not modifying next hop so ip eigrp so ip root eigrp so ip root eigrp so 1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 here is 1.1.1 .1 .1 and next hop is 192.168.10.1 so uh, still if r2 will ping 192.168.10.1 10.1 sorry 1.1.1.1 .1 then traffic will go via okay so not 1.1.1 .1 .1, no 
my LAN network is 3.3.3 okay so 3.3.3 so traffic will go via switch directly now traffic will forward like this from here to here from here to here from here to here and from here to here right earlier traffic was moving via headquarter from via head headquarter via hub router so this is my hub router and this is my spoke router spoke router so whenever you you have topology like this topology like hub and spoke you need to configure this command right you need to run no split horizon egrp 100 first of all on headquarter in, on headquarter router right and after that you have to tell to router that do not modify do not modify next hop address now suppose here is isp and we have three network right suppose this is my headquarter and this is my branch branch quarter branch okay now neighborship will be definitely via headquarter neighborship will be there by a headquarter by but communication will happen by via isp via isp so this is my concern that's all for today okay guys if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today